Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. I don't have my music going. Sometimes I come in here and I'm actually in here, but um, watching things. I don't have my Bible. My Bible is over there. So I will be right back. about that I guess I could be more um, more ready or more uh, I can't think of the word right now anyway I hope you had an awesome Tuesday today I did I got a lot of things accomplished today I was quite surprised but I have been praying for God to order my steps and when I pray for God to order my steps Everything just falls into place. Just kind of step after step. Everything falls into place. I have dinner ready. As a matter of fact, my child has already been fed tonight um, because he came in here and told me he was hungry. So I made spaghetti tonight, which is his favorite. I ate mine on uh, baked squash because I like to eat it like that. Um, well, everything is about the verdict from today, and I'm not going to talk about that. Um, I'm just looking for some music. Some music would be great. Hmm, what music do I want to listen to? I have 65 favorites. What are those? Oh, some of them are stories. Never mind. Just go back. You can all listen to this. This is like older youth music that we've done before. Just kind of feel like listening to something else. Nope. I don't know what that was for. It says nine stamps. Who knows? Who knows? All right, well, anyway, so I want to talk to you about tonight, who is guiding you? So, who is guiding you? Uh, got to get this in here. Because I can't let y'all listen to my songs. I get in trouble for that. When I first started, I loved it because I had music in the background and oh, it put me in such a good mood and then they started muting my videos because of um, copyright stuff. And I have a problem with copyright stuff because if people put it on YouTube for you to use for free, I don't know why you can't share it with other people. But anyway, I'm not going to go there. So anyway, who's guiding you? Who are you following? Like, we all follow people. We follow people on social media. We follow people on um, Instagram. Who's guiding you? Who are you walking with? Who are you following? Are you following the world? Or are you following Jesus? So we're going to look up some scriptures about that tonight. And uh, I wish I had my other earbuds, but... I didn't bring those in here either. Just not very prepared tonight. Alright. So let's jump into some prayer. I'm listening to... Can I get a witness? I love this song. Okay. Well, I'm going to pray. God, we just thank you and we praise you for coming... For inviting us into your kingdom, God. For sending your Son to give us salvation. We praise you because you are the great I Am and you are the great Jehovah. You are from everlasting to everlasting. You have always been. You are creator of all God and creator of us too. 
You are sustainer of all. You sustain everything. You have sustained things for so many years, God. You are quite capable of continuing sustaining all things. God, you are our protector. You protect, or you protect us daily from things. God, you are our uh, provider. You provide all things to us. And God, you are our shelter in the storm. When we are so battered by the battles that we're in, God, you are our refuge. You are our strength. We just thank you for these things. We just praise you for these things, God. We pray, God... Um, We praise you again, God, because you are magnificent and powerful and mighty, God. You are on your throne. You are in control. But God, you are also the judge that sees everything. You are the righteous judge. And you are the one that will bring your justice to people that have been wronged. God, we pray also, we praise you because you are kind and compassionate and loving and patient, forgiving, trustworthy, faithful. God, you are all those things and so much more. You are so much more, God. We just thank you for calling us as your children, for loving us. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength, and we cry out to you, God, for the lost. We just pray that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus, that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, God, that you would soften their hearts. We pray for the prodigals that they would come home, God. We pray for all the things that are going on, God, that we don't understand, but you do. And we know that your timing is perfect, so all of our trust is in you, God. We don't have to understand why things happen the way they do. Because we know that you have a perfect plan, God, and that at the very end, victory is ours through Jesus. So God, we just praise you and thank you for all the many things that you've done. We pray for people that have lost loved ones, God. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them and that uh, they would feel your presence in the absence of their family member. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, well let's get into scripture. Now yeah, I'm listening to Bulletproof. Oh, I'm so glad to go back and listen to some of these songs that I haven't heard in a while we're bulletproof through Jesus not because we're bulletproof because of us we are bulletproof through Jesus and we can put on the full armor of God every day and we can be protected okay so let's see what scriptures we have here I actually got to meet Citizen Way in uh, 2018. Got at the Promise, have my Promise t-shirt on. I have a whole wardrobe of Promise t-shirts. I was looking at my videos and like black, 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 and I go, oh my goodness, I've got to change colors. <laughs> so I decided to wear bright pink. Okay. Well, let's get into scripture, and I did number these today, although I don't know where one is. I don't see a one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll start with two, because I don't know what I did with one. Maybe let's make Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. And I think we read this not too long ago for another lesson. So, um, 
Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So if we trust God, he will direct our paths. That's been my prayer lately is um, order my steps, God, today. Help me to do what I need to get done today. And he has been doing it, like, since I've been praying that. So I'm going to continue praying that because I love at the end of the day to go, oh, I got that done, and I got that done, and I got that. I hate the days when I don't get anything accomplished. And I'm just running around crazy getting nothing accomplished. So let's trust in the Lord with our whole heart. And lean not unto our own understanding because we're not going to understand everything in this life that we're living we are not going to understand everything that's why we need to trust god and in all thy ways acknowledge him acknowledge god and he shall direct thy paths well that was a good one to start with i'm gonna have to number it Now I'm listening to Reckless Love by Corey Asbury. That's our youth's favorite song right now is Reckless Love. They, they love Reckless Love. Okay, so Psalms. Let's move to Psalms. I have to backtrack. Psalms 32, 8. And I found that a lot of these scriptures said basically the same thing. So we need God to guide us. We need Jesus to guide us. We need discernment from the Holy Spirit. Okay, 32.8 says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. So God is going to guide us with his eye. Because you know what? He knows what's ahead and we don't. So we need to let him guide us. We need to let him instruct us and let him teach us in the way which thou shalt go. Let him teach us where we should go, how we should go. And he will guide us with his eye, with his all-knowing eye. You know, he knows everything. He sees everything. He he knows what's ahead. We don't. Okay, so let's go to... Um, ew. I seem to have two threes. Okay, well, let's go to... Hmm. I didn't do very good at numbering today. Maybe I didn't pray about it before I did it. Okay, Psalms... 25 4 through 5 says he that hath clean hands and a pure heart who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation this is the generation of them that seek him that seek thy face O Jacob I love that song too O oh God of Jacob, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? I like that song too. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory, the Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Wow. That's powerful. The first part of this is the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. 
the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Amen. That is so good. So let's see what Psalms 37, 23. Ow, I get my hand like backwards and it hurts. Let's not do that anymore. Maybe I'll hold it with the other hand. Okay, 37, 23, 24. Um, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. So the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Now we may fall down, but we will not be cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him in his hand. Yes, that is good too. So let's see what five is. Five is going back. Oh wow, I even have skillet. This is such a good list. Just got skillet on here and brave. Okay. Proverbs 16.9 Sorry, my nose is just Put flowers in the background of um, my YouTube video So I can do that with that camera I can't do that with YouTube They need some good effects Their effects are horrible Okay Proverbs 16.9 says this, A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king. His mouth transgresseth not in judgment. So we devise our way. We devise what we're going to do. But it's God that d directs our path. He directs our path. So have you ever gotten up sometimes and you go, Oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And like nothing works out the way you planned it. Well, God wants to direct our paths. So he might put us in the path of someone that we might could encourage or we might could share the gospel with. Because those are the things that are most important to God. God doesn't care how much money we have. God doesn't care what we have uh, materially. He cares about what is in our heart and what we want to do, what He wants us to do, that we are willing to do what He wants us to do to further his kingdom. He doesn't care about our material possessions. He owns everything. So he doesn't care. Okay, Proverbs 11:14. Here we are going back to the left again. Where no counsel is, the people fail, but in the multitude of counselors there is safety. He that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it. And he that hateth suretyship is uh, sure. Hmm. I don't know what that has to do with this. Where no counsel is, the people fail. I guess maybe where there's no direction where there's nobody to give you direction, you know, they fail. Okay, well, let's move on to 
James uh, 1, 5 through 6. Oh, I love this song. Wave Walker by Citizen Way. This was in 2018 when I was getting ready to take the youth to see Citizen Way for youth night, but it rained out. And so on the redo night, they had homecoming. So they didn't get to go. I still feel kind of bad because it was a good concert. James... One, five through six. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and up braideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven and the wind with the wind and tossed. So we get our wisdom from God. You know, just like uh, King Solomon, that's what he wanted. He wanted wisdom. And God gave him great wisdom. He had great riches too. But at the end, you know, he saw that those great riches were not as important as God. He strayed from God too, just like all most of the kings did there were some that followed God and Israel or Judah was blessed while they were following God's teaching but then the other ones would come in and they wouldn't follow God and then God would have them drawn away to captivity to another country so let's read the ultimate thing about guidance um, in Psalm and this was my daily verse today, too. So we can allow ourselves to be guided by the world, but the world has nothing for us. Everything in the world is fleeting, and it's not going to last. And so you can have victory today in the world, and not victory, you know, the next week. It's, um, it's always changing. The world is always changing. It is not constant like God is. The things of heaven are constant. They don't change. Okay, so let's read one of my favorite psalms. This is my piece. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before, before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That is so good. I love Psalm 23. Because Jesus is our shepherd, and he does guide us to green pastures. He knows what we need, so he will bring us to what we need. And uh, beside the still waters, so peaceful. He restores our soul. He leads us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And sometimes we do walk in the valley of the shadow of death. But we don't have to fear. Because Jesus is with us. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He prepares a table in the presence of our enemies. 
I think that could be that I don't know I may do some research on that I broke this down one night and did it like every little bit I just did it he anoints our head with oil our cup runneth over he anoints us maybe he prepares a table before our enemies um, show our enemies who we are that we are secure with him surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life if we are sticking close to Jesus we feel that goodness we feel that mercy we feel that peace we can have peace in the midst of a storm with Jesus we can we turn our eyes turn my eyes on Jesus I like this song by Bon Ray a lot of people don't even know who Bon Ray is and I don't see much of their music anymore but 2018 they had some really good songs okay so let's finish this up and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever so our final destination is mm -hmm. heaven and so oh my child came in here well, what's wrong you don't like what's on I'm not near through Seth all right I will be right back What happened to Phineas and Ferb? No, you already ate. You have water too. No, sir. Come on. I already fed you spaghetti. Sorry about that. I'm the only adult in the house tonight. And the cat does absolutely nothing in my house. So she can't help. She has no thumbs. Okay. So that was kind of the end of where I was on scripture. But this is what I wrote this morning. Um, I shared the song. Uh goodness love and mercy by chris tomlin really like that song so i love the song and message by chris tomlin the lyrics are psalm 23 my peace scripture i love that chris leads this scripture in the middle of this song so in the middle of this song he reads this scripture that i just read to you psalm 23 um my words today who is guiding you are you following the world or the shepherd it is so easy to get caught up in the world and the things of the world but they are not the things of god and will not last forever god's word says step away from the things of the world they do not last do not conform to the ways of the world store your treasures in heaven our final destination as shepherd followers Surely goodness, love, and mercy will follow wherever I go, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I love this part. 
it is going to be an awesome ending of our Christianity journey. Are you saved today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is patiently and lovingly waiting for you. He will guide you and help you navigate your life. Jesus is the only path to, for, to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Okay, so that was the end. And I usually read that first and I forgot. Sorry. So, who's guiding you? I thought that was a good question. Who's guiding you? Is Jesus guiding you? Are you following Jesus? Because Jesus knows the way home. We need to be following Jesus. We do not know the way home. But Jesus does. Okay, so this is what God and I talked about today. Good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day, child, of mercies and blessings, of new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, child. Today was a beautiful day. Thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, God. A new day to get things done also, God. And he said, Child, many meetings are taking place behind closed doors, good and bad. The evil wants control at all costs to anyone. They will perpetrate all kinds of evil for power to follow the evil one. Many things and events are taking place for good also at the same time. Until all is decided, your country is in limbo. Focus on my messengers until all is settled. Focus on getting my messengers, uh, my messages out, child. Do not get drawn away by the drama in front of you. Focus on me and my messengers, child. The Holy Spirit will show you who to listen to. Follow only their messages. Discern who are my children and not. A lot of what goes on is distraction from what is really going on. Your area is very protected. It seems vulnerable, but it is not. It is protected by me and your military. It seems like evil is winning, but remember it never is. I am always watching and protecting my children. My hand is upon them always. Jesus the Good Shepherd guides my children to what they need. Stay close to Jesus, child. Stay in my word. Pray and praise. Stay in communication with us during the day. Follow my guidance during the day when you ask me to order your steps for the day. All things follow into place perfectly. Do this every day. Jesus will guide you from one task to another. And I said, thank you, God, for the encouragement today. And I do say, I do see all that you are sharing in your word and unfolding before me. I will be guided by Jesus today and always. And I will encourage others too. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug for me. I love you too, my child. Now, go do all that I ask and lead you to. Be obedient to me and you will be blessed. The reward and prize for the race is ahead. Continue to be guided by Jesus. Walk in the right, walk in the light and truth, child. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready for the glorious appearing of Jesus soon. The reunion will be beautiful, child. All perfection here. The peace, love, and joy that you long for is here. And I said, Maranatha, God. Because, yes, 
we do have the fruits of the Spirit here, but how many times have you been having a good day and something of the world just turns your world upside down? It happens every day. So we don't have that perfect peace that is in heaven. We don't have that perfect love. We don't have that perfect, um, what was it? Joy. Because we can have our love, joy, and peace interrupted by the things of the world. We need to make sure that we don't, but it can happen. So, okay, who's guiding you? That's my question for you tonight, is who's guiding you? And so, hmm, how do I want to do this? I actually looked at some more tracks today, but nothing really appealed to me. Um, in Christian Book Distributor. So I think I'm going to look on Amazon tonight and see if I can find something. How about this? How about this is what people want. You know, the it's not money that's the root of all evil. It's the love of money. People love this so much over their family, over everything. And it is fleeting. And this isn't even real. This is not a real million dollar bill all the way. By the way, it's fake. But it looks real. It looks like real money. It has two serial numbers. I used to work at a bank, so I knew to look for these things. It has the blue stripe going down. It says, um, the United States of America. It says, reserved a note. Excuse me. It has the name of the picture. It has seals on it. Looks kind of real, but it's not. It's not real. Okay. So let's look at the back. It says, in God we trust. Well, that's on our money. Then it says, the United States of America, again at the bottom. Well, that's on our money, too. So this money is fake. Just like a lot of people that tell you that all you have to do is be good to get to heaven. That's not truth. That's not true. And many people are going to miss heaven because they thought they were good enough. But we will never, ever be good enough. And this is why. This is why we will never be good enough. And why we need Jesus as our Savior. Okay, so here is the million dollar question. Will you go to heaven when you die? So a lot of people you ask that to. Uh, where are you going to go when you die? Well, most of them are going to say heaven. I want to go to heaven. But it's not where we want to go. It's where we are really going or not going. And so, here is a quick test. Have you ever lied, stolen, or used God's name in vain? Okay, I've, I've done all of that. I've done all of that. I'm sure many other people have too. I'm not proud of it. But I don't anymore because I know who God is. And I know that God is the righteous judge. And I'm not going to do any of that against him. So this is what Jesus said. Whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If you have done these things, God sees you as a lying, thieving, blasphemous adulterer at heart. And the Bible warns that one day God will, will punish you in a terrible place called hell. But God is not willing that any should perish. Sinners broke God's law and Jesus paid their fine. This means that God can legally dismiss their case. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Then Jesus rose from the dead, defeating death, 
Today, repent and trust Jesus, and God will give you eternal life as a free gift. Then read the Bible daily and obey it. God will never fail you. And this is livingwaters.com. This is Ray Comfort and Kirk Cameron. So I'm going to read a prayer. So if you would like to accept Jesus as your Savior, it is a free gift. It is a free gift. He paid the price. He paid a very high price because he paid with his blood for our freedom. So this is um, this is a prayer, and I will lead, leave a space so you can repeat it if you would like. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you are God's one and only Son. a good song. You were laughed by Hillsong. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. You were buried for three days and rose from the dead. I believe you ascended to heaven and are preparing a place for me. turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Clean my heart and help me to glorify you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So if you said this prayer, if you accepted Jesus as your Savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing like they are so happy. And your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, His Son. And so today is day one of your Christianity journey. So if you want to have a closer relationship with God, then read His Word every day. Pray every day. And praise. Find you some good praise and worship music like I have going on tonight. It is awesome. I haven't heard a lot of these songs in a long time. And I'm thinking about um, maybe doing this one for youth tomorrow night. I really like it. Sorry. Anyway. So, pray for God to find you a church also and get baptized too. When you find a church, they'll lead you into all those things too. Was a good it's a good song 
Okay, well, I think that I did everything that uh, God wanted me to do. I shared scripture. I shared my quiet time. I shared what I wrote today on Facebook. So if you could think of any other verses that go with guidance, who's guiding you, put them in the comments. If you have any prayer requests, put them in the comments. Uh, anything you want to put in the comments, put in the comments. Some people put really weird stuff on YouTube in the comments, and I don't really even know what it means. I guess I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, you're welcome to put things in the comments. Um... I'm going to try to find a platform to where I can do this live in addition to Facebook. Um, I don't know. Frank Speech opened up, which is like free speech. Um, but I'm not real sure about how it works. I have an account on Gab under Awesome Treasures ministry and uh, but I don't do many things on there because I just don't I like it though I really like it because I don't like being I think that free speech should be free speech and it shouldn't be everything our opinions shouldn't be fact-checked we should be free to have opinions and if people don't like it they don't have to listen to us you know that's how I feel I can agree to disagree with somebody I agreed to disagree with my friend this afternoon we're still friends but we don't agree about a certain subject and that's okay that's okay we'll find out someday it's okay so okay I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the blessing from God and get off of here and do some prayer I think I did everything that God called me to do all right so numbers 6 24 through 26 um, the Lord bless thee and keep thee the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. So we all need some peace. Hopefully there'll be some peace after the... Um, after the verdict today on the trial that has been going on for two weeks that I have not been following. I kind of just wanted to know what the verdict was going to be. Because I knew I didn't want to watch two weeks of stuff all day. And I kind of have mixed emotions about it. But we'll see what happens. I predict there will still be rioting in the streets tonight. I hope that everybody goes home. That, that's my prayer is that people just go home. And get out of the streets. So, okay. Let's pray. Let's pray. God, we just come to you. And we just uh, are so thankful, God, that you do guide us. And that if we belong to you, you are guiding us every day. And Jesus is guiding us. And then we have the Holy Spirit also that's giving us discernment and helping us to decide what is truth and what is lies and where we should go and when we should go. God, just thank you so much for your protection, for your provision, for your blessings. We just thank you so much, God. We just pray that you would be with the people in Minnesota, God, that you would protect people that people would just go home. 
Uh, they've been rioting for days, and it's not a peaceful protest. It's a riot with many people injured and destruction. God, I just pray for peace in this country. Maybe this incident will bring peace. I don't know. There's still so much division in particular people that are pushing that division every day. God, it's just not right. That's not what you want. You want us all to be united under Jesus. But many have chosen their own ways. And they will not. They will not accept Jesus as their Savior, God. Many don't know. Many don't want to know. But God, we know that you are sovereign over all and we trust you. We trust you to guide us every day, to order our steps every day, God. We put all of our trust in you. We just, I just pray for everybody that comes and watches, God, that you would protect them, that you would give them peace, that you would provide for them, and that you would bless them, and that you would help them to walk in obedience to you, that they would seek you every day through your word, through prayer, and through praise, God, and that they would just draw closer and closer to you every day. And God, we just... Uh, we just lay all these things at the feet of Jesus. And we know that He is our Good Shepherd and that we can trust Him, God. He is going to lead us where we need to be. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Well, alrighty then. You'll have an awesome rest of your night and have an awesome tomorrow. Um, much love. And cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.